Hey guys, it's Eros, and today I have for you a 1.8 3x3 player elevator as requested by CP4Baseball. Now, his uh, request was to build a flush 3x3 elevator that uses slime blocks. The restrictions were I could not have any pistons or torches showing. Now, you can already see I failed when it came to pistons because you can actually see the piston. Now we're going to walk around, we're going to activate that, and of course we saw how it worked. The, that piston has to be pushed three blocks out to right there, and then that redstone block has to be pushed out to activate the piston, and that's what actually pushes you up. Now, this can break sometimes, and let's see if I can actually get it to break by keep on activating it. Let's do that. And I broke it. Okay. So normally, if it breaks like this, just jump up once, hold down shift so you don't jump a second time, and it should de extend all the pistons like it did. There is special cases in which these redstone blocks will also get extended and won't retract. Just this one that activates that piston when it's, or when it activates the piston behind there when it's fully extended. All you have to do is, of course, press the reset button that's at the back, and it does that. Now I'm going to explain a little bit of how this works and show it. So, of course, we have the trip wires that run into this line. Now, there's a difference between this line and this line, and you can kind of see it. The model stable circuit, that's right there. But they both use this, which mimics a stone button. It has to be put on two delays and four delays for the repeaters or else it will not work and it can break a lot. Now this one, however, you just need a long enough delay right here so that once you've touched these, uh, these trip wires that this uh, slime block doesn't get extended immediately because you actually get thrown up you activate them then you fall down and then you're pushed up by the slime box that's underneath so you need a long enough delay for you to get above these slime blocks before they extend and activate now if we come down here we can see it's pretty compact it's not as compact as I want it to be however I will not be building this on camera I'm just showing it as a proof concept I will put a download to my test world in the description below and as you can see it uses a bunch of repeaters that are lined up in crazy positions when you're going through my test world you will see these signs and I should explain to you what these mean right now so if we go over here we can see that this is a bunch of crazy redstone so this half of the redstone only extends all the pistons and then extends the piston upward this half retracts it all so these numbers are the order in which it has to fire to retract the pistons so this has to be first and such that when these are extended this second piston is actually here and this third piston is I believe right there yes it is right there so it has to this one has to extend to pull this piston in and then this is the second so this is right here and it has to activate that piston which is right is now right here to extend and pull in the slime blocks and then of course it just keeps on pulling all the pistons in so then it goes it goes one two three four five and then everything is pulled back in now I removed all the blocks here to show you essentially as we were going up the wiring to it so that you when you're going when you're going through this world you don't come in and break the um, redstone by accident while you're watching it so as you can see I think it's pretty pretty seamless pretty um, what do they call it uh, I can't think of the word it's gonna it's gonna be the name of the title or it's not gonna be the name of the title I'm asking you guys did I succeed? Is it um, flush? That's what it is. Is it flush or is it not? Leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.